742. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Elect from every nation, yet one o'er all the earth. Her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food. And to one hope she presses with every grace endued. Through toil and tribulation and tumult of her war, she waits the consummation of peace forevermore. Till with the vision glorious her longing eyes are blessed, and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author and lover of peace, to know you is to live, to serve you is to reign. Defend against every attack those, those who cry to you, so that who trust in your protection may not fear the weapons of any foe. Through our, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor man with shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? But you dishonored the poor. Are not the rich oppressing you and do they themselves not haul, haul you off to court? Is it not they who blaspheme the, the noble name that was invoked over you? However, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the, the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. 
I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Amen. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea, Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and, looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. Okay, so, so we have, in both of these readings, uh, the theme of humility um, in the sense that Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. Son of Man just means human. We are all sons or daughters of men and women, right? So Jesus is just saying he's a human being. Um, and most notably, it, well, it points to Son of Adam, Son of Man, Son of the Man, Adam, Son of Ma Adam. Um, and um, and as we you know, see what the temptation is that Peter, um, that Peter gives to Jesus is that he's saying, you know, you shall not, the you know, whole idea is that Jesus is the human being. He is the human being for us, the human being that stands for us um, and takes on sin and that, that is what God's mission is for him. And Peter doesn't understand that yet. So, you know, in the, in the temptation, Peter is saying, you know, Jesus, don't follow that. Don't, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be the son of man. You don't want to be the human. You don't want to take on what God has, well, God taking on our humanity and taking on evil. Um, or we have in the first reading from the book of James, where it's talking about distinctions, which there, there always have been. Um, and he just talks about how um, we are all children of the one Father of, of God. We are all children of God. And if we see ourselves differently, we, we um, are basically, we, it shows that we don't understand who God is. If we feel that you know, we are better or less than any other human being on the planet. That that's stating by our actions and our our understanding that somehow that God that they're not. I'm not a child of God, or someone else is not a child of God. Um, so uh, James is just helping people realize what. Um, what it is we believe, what the, the profound nature of that. And so to make distinctions is to reject that understanding. 
So God became human in the person of Jesus. He took on our humanity for all human beings. Stand, we offer our prayers. We pray for the church, pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oscar, all bishops and church leaders. We pray to the Lord. Pray for all leaders of nations. They work to bring about true peace and justice in our world. We pray to the Lord. Pray for peace in the Ukraine and in Eastern Europe. We pray to the Lord. You pray, pray for all medical professionals or all those health care workers who work with the sick or minister to them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for greater peace in our world, for uh, disarmament of all, all weapons. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, we offer you our prayers this day. Fill our hearts with your love. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we see this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Attention for this morning's Mass is for Frank and Doris Pacheco, Pacheco and the intentions of Larry and Julie Montoya. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice of mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be mindful, Lord, that your Son, who himself is peace, has destroyed our hatreds by his blood. Look in mercy on our evil deeds and grant that to those whom you love, this sacrifice may restore peace and tranquility. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just that we should give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life, being rich in mercy. You constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love and proclaim our joy at the salvation that comes from you. We join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without it we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, 
to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of the one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Oscar our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, the blessed apostles, and all the saints, and with our brother, deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Who him and with him and in him O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace, Lord, be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
need a community minister. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, says the Lord. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Let us pray. Grant to us, O Lord, that nourished with delights of the one bread that fortifies the human heart, we may successfully overcome the fury of war and resolutely keep your law of love and justice. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. We'll close with. Well, let's not do that one. We'll close with. Close with uh, 681, 681. Six eight one. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here, and we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Here a million wounded souls are yearning just to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate for you are with us. Oh.